Hello, hello, my name is Mariola and welcome to my channel. Today a very quick intro because I have a very limited time, plus I know I have a tendency to waffle a lot about stuff. Uh, I just have so much to show you and to tell you that sometimes I just get carried away, so I'll try not to do that today. In today's video I want to focus on transition from winter clothes to spring. But don't expect any dramatic change because this is just a um, mild uh, transition. It's just the beginning of the whole process and your spring capsule wardrobe will come a little bit later. I'm going to show you five different ways how I transition from winter cold months to spring, to something lighter. So to me it's all about layering and that will be my main focus but also different way of styling things, adding accessories, adding some uh, color or print. I believe there's gonna be something for everyone. Before I start I just want to ask you to hit that subscribe button. It really motivates me and helps my channel to grow. Number one is to use your shirt. I think this is very obvious but I know a lot of us don't wear our cotton shirts in winter because they feel very cold on our skin. So this is a very classic typical black trousers, doesn't matter, leather, wool, jeans, anything you have and white shirt. So just on top of that shirt I would add any jumper. So you can go for cashmere, uh, in this case it's a beige. You can go for a sweatshirt. I love pairing white shirt with grey sweatshirts. Not a hoodie, just a sweatshirt. Uh, this one is thrifted in a vintage shop from men's department and it's a really nice heavy cotton, 100% uh, cotton uh, jumper. So this is how it looks like with the jumper on. Now I tucked everything in the front because I feel like it would be a little bit too slouchy and it needs a little bit of definition in the waist. Um, plus you can see the belt, it's always a nice detail. In such case I would always try to leave the cuffs visible. You can leave the collar inside, you can take it out. If beige washes you out, that white collar will always make you look more fresh and rested. Otherwise it would be just a plain boring beige jumper. Instead of my Chelsea boots or my heeled boots, I decided to wear my derbies. It's just more fresh when you show your ankles. Although with my, uh, the length of my trousers you can't really see the ankle but you can see the skin and I think that's the main point. I'm wearing my black wool coat which is very warm and heavy. I still wear it all the time so it's not too thick I wouldn't say. It's all about what layers you have with it. But if you go out like this and you feel it's far too warm, just remove your jumper and use it as a scarf. Um, the look is more interesting um, and you know boiling so it's a win-win. Uh, for the bag, because I already have so much black in my outfit but I do have uh, beige and white. I feel like this bag is gonna be great. It's a bit more of a bucket style, so it's great for spring. It's not too heavy for this season. So this is for those of you who like oversized. It's about how the shirt uh, plays together with the cropped jumper and more voluminous but cropped trousers. You don't need to tuck anything in. You can, but um, I think this is just beautiful. The cuffs of the shirt. Again, I'm leaving them open because I want something fresh, something interesting here. Otherwise, it would be just a long oversized jumper and I think it would look much more slouchy and undone. We want it undone but just a little bit. I just love such interesting form, how clothes uh, work together, how they uh, mold together into one beautiful outfit. And I think that's why also the trousers work here because they are, I wouldn't say oversized, they just uh, more baggy, uh, but they are showing my ankles. So still you can see the slimmest part of my leg and then you go down and you can see the chunky shoes that again balance the oversized top that I'm wearing. It's a very simple outfit. It's a one, two, three, I think it's just a three color outfit. But I feel like there is a lot going on here because of the layers and because of the stripes. 
And as you can see, you can create a really fun, cool outfit with just simple elements, but it's all about how you put them together. The last way I wanted to show you how you could style a white shirt underneath a jumper is actually with a cardigan. Now, you can already see I've been playing around with this uh, cardigan because this is a really big size large uh, cashmere jumper and in general it works with different outfits but it doesn't so much with this one. I mean it's okay, I don't hate it, I think especially with the shirt buttoned all the way up I just feel like it's a bit more contemporary and more clean but I tucked this side of the, of the cardigan here so you could see that crop jumper, sorry crop cardigan would be so much better. Uh, you can probably see the difference. I feel like I don't have any cropped cardigan. In fact, this is my only cardigan, but I think this would be really a really nice look. And actually, why not wear it like that? I mean, you can even button cardigan up and leave it like this. It's just gonna give you a different uh, look uh, with this very deep v-neck. It's just a lot of um, tucking in uh, and playing around but once you do it I, I feel okay, I feel comfortable. The reason I like it so much is because I imagine this outfit with a coat but open uh, so you can actually see the outfit underneath and this would... okay let me show you. Now I wanted to pair it with my trench coat for the color contrast but also to make it a bit more light and you know what I really like this outfit. It's much more preppy than I would normally wear and I like this jumper just just a piece of the cardigan uh, visible from underneath the coat. I don't know what do you think I think the whole outfit looks very interesting it's warm because of the cashmere jumper of course and the best thing is when you're hot you can just take off the jumper use it as your scarf because it's gonna look amazing as a color combination and that's it you know it's just so simple <laughs> In this case I'm wearing my sneakers, so it's not too bottom heavy, but I think it just ties in together very nicely with my shirt, light trench coat and the whole outfit just becomes much lighter and much more spring appropriate, yet still warm. Gosh, any, any bag would go with it. Actually I really like this uh, beige bag, although I'm only wearing one black element now, but I think it's a really nice statement piece that uh, you can see straight away. In the next part I'm going to show you how I style my shirt over the things. It could be either a, a fitted turtleneck, long sleeve top, any material, but again something fitted, a t-shirt or a tank top. So let's have a look. I changed my trousers for this uh, formula because I wanted to show you something, well, I wanted to show you variety, but I think this style of shirt, of wearing your shirt, just looks so nice with wide leg trousers. I added a belt because I feel like it's, um, you know, it's quite simple, minimalistic look, so I wanted to play with um, jewelry. So I'm gonna start with the thickest, the warmest tops. So it can be any long sleeve top. I would recommend your merino or cashmere tops. This is perfect. Um, it's not merino, it's silk and a little bit of cotton. So it's very thin, it's very uh, breathable, very nice uh, ribbed texture. I love this look. I must say this is um, probably going to be one of my favorites because it's very much, it feels very much me. I actually like that the top is not white, it's cream, off-white, whatever you call this color, but it's, uh, it's just more interesting. Also because of the ripped detail, it adds something uh, different. Remember, shirts are your tailored pieces. They are, by definition, very elegant, very classy, very put together. So no matter what you combine them with, what top or what trousers, you'll always have a nice, um, smart, casual outfit. In this case, you could also go for um, blue jeans or white jeans. A striped long sleeve top, white or black, everything will go. I'm not wearing any shoes. <laughs> So what I would wear here is probably my white sneakers or Converse, sorry, Converse would be great here. Oh wait, maybe these. I don't know, these are the easiest to put on so I, uh, I'm just lazy. Yep, yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, 
Plus, remember, with such outfit, it's still a shirt. So you can button it up, you can wear a jumper over it if you're really cold, if your climate is still cold. And when you get uh, to your destination, wherever, whatever it is, a cafe or an office or your friend's house, you can remove the jumper and you have a really nice outfit. There you go. For the second warmer layer, uh, with the shirt. I'm wearing my turtleneck, but this is not my very fitted turtleneck So I don't know how this is gonna look like uh, But yeah, let's try that with the shirt because it's navy um, I'll try to pair it with my blue shirt instead of white Plus you've seen white a lot Right, so as I suspected uh, this top and this shirt are a little bit too oversized for this look but I want to show you the formula and I'm sure you can replicate it with something more fitted. This shirt is beautiful, I absolutely love it but it's men's um, thrifted shirt and it's very long and it's got very long sleeves. I think I tucked it in really well at the back, I don't feel any bulk, it's more here. But um, I really do like the color combination, uh, also because the turtleneck is navy and not black, so it's not too, too hard, but we still have black trousers. You can try that with white jeans, for example, or white trousers. With such uh, layering, I always feel like leaving your sleeve of the turtleneck uh, out is really nice uh, detail. Um, I like that the buttons of the shirt go together with my pearls again. Very simple detail, but that's what makes the outfit awesome and really styled instead of just uh, some things put together. Now because I have two tailored pieces here, which is a shirt and my wide leg trousers, a very slim and neat a turtleneck, I would definitely go for uh, my sneakers. So in this category, uh, as I said, I'm just going to show you waistcoats and knitted vests. Now because I'm already wearing my t-shirt, I wanted to show you how you can wear it um, as a lighter version with a short sleeve top. Anything you want and any color you want. I love it as it is with white tee, very simple and again you see because it's more fitted it doesn't create any bulk in this area which I think is just very nice and I would actually leave it like that. It's very, yeah it's more casual. Um, crew neck with the v-neck plus the necklace. This is a really nice combination. I uh, yeah, I love the simplicity of that. It's very much 90s to me. I really like that. Again, my wide leg trousers, very simple. My sneakers, I can wear my Converse. I could wear my, um, I could wear my loafers, but I feel like it would be a little bit too much to dressed up again because I already have two tailored pieces so I always try to limit myself to not limit but I always try to keep my outfit to a maximum of two tailored pieces because if you go more it's just a little bit try too hard and it loses that nonchalant that uh, effortless uh, feel. This is my knit vest and uh, I only have a crew neck. I'm on the hunt for a nice v-neck, something more slouchy because this is quite fitted. You know, this is not bad. I love this outfit, but v-neck would just complete it. But the necklace saves the day. It creates that v-neck that I uh, desperately need here. Very relaxed. You know, with the waist call it was more formal and I would wear it casually, but probably with some exceptions. But this one, yeah, I would wear it everywhere on a casual day. Because you have a short sleeve, it indicates the season you can wear it in, but you can also try uh, wearing a blazer on top of it. So I went for something more tonal, something that uh, just goes together with the cream and the gold. It's, you know, it's very simple, very, Classic. I would probably go with my black coat with that. Let me see. Yep, really nice. You can still see the blazer. You can see the white. It's something I would wear casually for sure. This is very much my style. I feel very comfortable in it. I really like pairing such uh, tailored pieces with sneakers and just to balance everything to kind of ground the outfit. 
Right, uh, so here I'm back to my long sleeve uh, silk top. As you can see, the colors of the vest and the top really match together. When you buy such basic tops, wrong word. I don't like the word basic because there's nothing basic about this top. Such staples in your wardrobe. Try to buy them in the colors, first of all, that go with everything in your wardrobe and second, that you enjoy. This top goes with everything in my wardrobe and I got it in sale for like 70% off and I've been wearing it so much. It's a great uh, layering piece for any season, for any type of outfit. So they don't pretend to be a one jumper. There is a clear difference between the top and the vest, a different texture, different weave. So um, yeah, it, it just makes it so much more interesting. And of course, uh, without the jewelry here, I feel like this outfit will be very basic. Imagine no belt, no jewelry, no watch. Everything is just very plain. <laughs> and we need something, we need some sparkle with such outfits. They are very simple and I love them, but I love to add something interesting. So yes, always remember about the accessories, the jewelry. So I have my crop jacket here, which again is a very similar color to the top. So it looks really put together, very thought through. Um, I would go for any bag. And this is something that never fails with any outfit. So, you know, because I've got so much light colors here, I think black, especially if I wear it crossbody, I would just go nicely with that. Yeah. I think this is perfect. I love it. Definitely something I'm gonna wear this spring. It's enough of layering for the weather we have in London now. I appreciate uh, for those of you who live in Canada or other colder countries that this is too soon for you but hopefully you can use that as an inspiration in a few weeks. Uh, this waistcoat is from Zara but surprisingly very good uh, composition and uh, a really good fit. I couldn't find anything like that in other shops that I would normally go to for something of a better quality, but this feels really good. Any coat you're gonna wear with it is gonna look more interesting. If you just leave it open, you see some dimension, you see some layers and that's what makes the outfit more interesting. The last way I would style this vest, um, any knitted vest, v-neck, crew neck, is with a shirt. Because I'm wearing these wide leg trousers, I wanted to accentuate a little bit of waist. Um, so I just left uh, the one side of the shirt untucked, uh, just like this. And one side I tucked together with my shirt. I feel like it's a little bit more put together, it's more styled. Sometimes it's hard to style shirts underneath things. Maybe because of the vest is a little bit more fitted, it kind of holds the shirt together so I can mold it to my liking. We have two tailored elements, my shirt and my trousers, and two more casual, so it's the vest and my sneakers. Um, again, something I would wear on a daily basis, but um, it's a very much office appropriate outfit because if you remove that vest and you wear of course nice shoes with it it's a very nice formal outfit yeah think of that when you plan your outfits and when you plan your shopping <laughs> uh, so your clothes work for different occasions and are more versatile than just one outfit i would like to try with a blazer um just hide that shirt because i think in this case it just looks a little bit too slouchy Look at that, we have another outfit and it's more layered, it's um, even more appropriate for the colder uh, weather. With that black coat, grey coat or beige, look at that, anything, just pull any colour from your outfit and match the coat, the bag together and you have such a nice cohesive outfit, you don't have to think too much. So you see, if you commute to work, uh, you can wear something like that. It looks very nice, put together. Wear your comfy sneakers and of course all the layers. And then when you get to office, you can remove whatever is not needed and you have a really nice office outfit. There you go. Uh, la, 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 la. 
so I'm gonna have to stop here because this video is gonna be far too long um, so I've decided to cut it into two parts so you gotta have um, the first part with the shirt and vest and waistcoat and the second part is gonna include some uh, color as you can see at the back and lighter outerwear I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and let me know your thoughts on um, layering how do you transition from winter to spring thank you so so much for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel you can do it now thank you um, and yep see you in the next video bye